refilling is the key to Starship's leap in space exploration. After much anticipation, Musk has revealed the timeline for this technology, along with a bold statement that even surprised NASA, which has recently shown skepticism. So when will SpaceX build this system, and why is Musk so confident? Let's find out on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Indeed, for many people, the idea of refilling fuel in orbit is one of the most difficult challenges facing SpaceX and its Starship program. It's a task that has never been done before, and the scale becomes even more daunting when it involves a vehicle as massive as Starship. The difficulty of this undertaking has been highlighted by critics, and one of the most notable voices came recently from former NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. During a Senate hearing, he raised serious doubts about Starship's capabilities, including whether orbital refilling could ever work. His concerns ranged from questions of launch capability to reliability, as well as whether cryogenic fuels could survive long enough in space to be practical for such a system. Naturally, those comments stirred up plenty of debate, and people waited to hear how Musk would respond. As expected, he turned to X, where he issued a short but powerful statement that gave clarity to SpaceX's timeline and showed his confidence in the plan. Musk said plainly, SpaceX will do orbital refilling several times next year with Starship V3. That is not speculation or a vague estimate anymore. It's a firm commitment. According to Musk, 2026 will be the year SpaceX begins actual orbital refilling operations. His confidence is built not only on plans for the future, but also on the successes of the recent Starship Flight 10. That mission resolved many of the problems that had hindered the previous V2 flights. It also accomplished key objectives directly tied to refilling, such as deploying a payload and successfully relighting engines in space. Building on those results, SpaceX now aims to move into the next phase with Starship V3. Musk has revealed that V3 is already in production and should debut by the end of this year with a strong operational tempo planned for 2026. This version of Starship includes numerous upgrades, from hot staging and grit fins to an improved heat shield and Raptor 3 engines. But perhaps most importantly, V3 will also feature increased size and fuel capacity which means it will be far more efficient when conducting refilling operations. Even more striking is Musk's claim that SpaceX will not just attempt refilling once, but will attempt it several times. The schedule appears to make sense. The debut V3 flight later this year will likely serve as a test platform, with subsequent flights, possibly Flight 13 through 15 through 15, focusing on catching operations for both stages. These missions may take place early next year. If those flights prove successful, then orbital refilling could begin as early as mid-2026, perhaps around Flight 16. This timeline gives SpaceX several flights to build confidence in the new systems and master all aspects of launch, recovery, and reusability before attempting refilling. That makes sense because the refilling system will play a critical role in ambitious missions, such as the first uncrewed journeys to the Moon or Mars. Now comes the core of the debate. Is orbital refilling actually feasible? Critics say it may not be, but Musk's response shows why why he believes otherwise. SpaceX has two main approaches in mind. The first is a direct ship-to-ship -ship transfer. In this method, a fleet of dedicated tanker starships would launch and rendezvous with a primary starship in orbit, transferring cryogenic fuel directly. This requires high reliability in docking and fuel transfer operations, but would make the process relatively fast once the system is proven. The second approach is to establish a depot in orbit, which would allow fuel to be stored and accessed when needed. While this reduces scheduling scheduling pressure, it introduces the challenge of long-term cryogenic fuel storage in space. Both ideas sound extremely challenging, but Musk argues they are entirely achievable. But Musk argues they are entirely achievable. In his tweet, he said, Because we are simply docking with ourselves, this is a much easier problem than docking with the space station, which SpaceX already does several times a year. That statement highlights the biggest advantage of SpaceX's approach. Unlike docking two different spacecraft that were designed by different organizations, docking two starships involves vehicles with identical systems, hardware, and software. This creates a consistency that makes the process far less complex. SpaceX already has extensive experience with docking. The Dragon spacecraft, which regularly ferries crew and cargo to the ISS, has an unbroken track record of success. In just a few years, SpaceX has completed around 50 such missions. Each one required precise navigation, alignment, and docking with a completely 
completely separate system, yet every mission has shown smooth and reliable performance. If Dragon can safely and repeatedly dock with the ISS, then docking two starships which are designed to work together should indeed be a much easier task. Musk's comparison underscores his confidence. For him, refilling in orbit is not an unsolvable engineering problem. It's simply the next step in scaling up capabilities that SpaceX already demonstrates regularly. The schedule is clear and the foundation of expertise is in place. So, what do you think? Do you believe Musk's confidence is justified? Will SpaceX truly be able to achieve achieve orbital refilling several times in 2026 with Starship V3. Share your thoughts in the comments by saying yes or no, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow SpaceX's incredible journey toward making history. Musk's bold statements about orbital refilling have not only shaped the conversation around Starship, but have also had a profound impact on the broader space race. As mentioned earlier, many people, including officials within NASA, remain skeptical about both Starship and its refilling system. System. Some within the agency have even suggested moving the Artemis program back toward a traditional model centered entirely on the space launch system while minimizing or eliminating commercial involvement. Yet the reality is clear. The SLS is facing major challenges in cost, progress, and overall reliability. Even now, serious questions remain about whether NASA will be able to prepare two rockets, a spacecraft, and a lunar lander in time for Artemis 3 following Artemis 2. The immense complexity and expense of that model make it difficult to sustain long term. By contrast, Starship, although still in its development phase, is showing rapid progress and tremendous potential. It brings unique advantages with its fully reusable design, immense thrust, and fast production tempo. While the inclusion of orbital refueling adds another step to the process, Musk has consistently emphasized that this challenge will soon be solved. Once it is, Starship's immense lift capacity and versatility will give NASA a decisive edge in building a sustainable presence on the moon, whether through surface bases or orbital infrastructure. That is why Musk's statements have forced skeptics to reconsider. His confidence in refilling is not only influencing public opinion, but also reshaping internal discussions within NASA. Indeed, there are leaders inside the agency who already see Starship's potential. Acting Administrator Sean Duffy, for example, has expressed optimism in Starship's readiness after speaking with SpaceX executives like Gwyn Shotwell and observing the success of Flight 10. He recognizes that the vehicle is steadily proving itself and could very well play a central role in Artemis 3. This debate does not stop at the moon. NASA is also struggling with the Mars Sample Return Program, which has been plagued by rising costs, scheduling setbacks, and overwhelming complexity. SpaceX's progress with Starship offers an alternative path forward, one that could enable faster and more direct missions to Mars. The stakes are even higher when viewed in the context of international competition. China has been making rapid strides in space with recent successes in lunar exploration new rocket systems, and ambitious lander missions. Jim Bridenstine himself has warned that China could surpass the U.S. in the race for the moon. That concern is far from exaggerated. China's record shows consistent momentum, while America risks delays if it does not fully harness its commercial partners. This is where SpaceX's refilling system could become the true turning point. If proven successful, it will guarantee NASA's schedules, strengthen the Artemis program, and accelerate America's push toward Mars. With reliable refueling, Starship will not only enable repeated missions to the moon, but also the establishment of long-term infrastructure. The U.S. could move ahead decisively, leaving its rival in the dust. But in the end, trust and cooperation will be essential. NASA, its partners, and SpaceX must work together with unity and vision if the United States is to win these critical races. With refueling as the key, the door is now open to a future where humanity returns to the moon, travels to Mars, and begins building permanent bases in space space. To make these ambitious plans and expectations a reality, SpaceX must begin preparing immediately. The number of prototypes required is enormous, which means that production systems must be upgraded and expanded without delay. At the center of this effort are the Star Factory and the Gigabay, both of which need to be completed and operating at full capacity within this year and the next. These facilities are essential not only to maintain production speed, but also to ensure that Starship is fully prepared for the demanding, refilling missions ahead. In addition to scaling up production, SpaceX faces 
faces the urgent task of rolling out special mission-specific versions of Starship. One of the most important examples is the HLS variant, designed for the Artemis program's lunar missions. Developing and testing these specialized spacecraft alongside these standard Starship variants will be critical for meeting both NASA's requirements and SpaceX's own long-term objectives. Parallel to production, the testing infrastructure must also be significantly upgraded to handle the demands of version 3. The incident with Ship 36 has already become a milestone that highlighted the need for better test facilities and more refined procedures. Going forward, every test must build confidence in Starship's systems while preparing for the complex challenges of orbital refueling. Finally, the launch infrastructure will need to be expanded and optimized for continuous operations. Refilling missions will require multiple launches in quick succession, which means SpaceX must be able to rotate vehicles and refurbish launch pads at record speed. Work is already underway to upgrade Pad 2 at Starbase and LC-39A at Kennedy Space Center. In addition, SpaceX has acquired the SLC-37 platform, which could eventually host at least two more launch pads. Together, these systems will create the backbone of a high-cadence launch campaign necessary for refilling operations. In terms of flight progress, the upcoming window of opportunities from Flight 11 to Flight 15 will be critical. During these missions, SpaceX must master key milestones such as completing the full flight sequence deploying payloads accurately, relighting engines in orbit, and demonstrating controlled landings using different methods. Among these, catching Starship with the Mechazilla arms will be one of the most important achievements. Reaching these goals as early as possible will free up valuable time and give SpaceX the confidence to move swiftly into orbital refilling. We are standing on the edge of another groundbreaking achievement in space exploration. There will always be skepticism, and many continue to doubt whether such an ambitious system can succeed. Yet, SpaceX has a history of turning the impossible into reality, and the confidence and timelines shared by Musk and his team suggest that history is about to repeat itself. The year 2026 may very well be the turning point, when the refilling system begins to operate and unlocks the full potential of Starship. Everything is moving quickly, and those who follow closely will witness a new era unfolding before their very eyes. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.